Aaron Rodgers. Now, we've talked quite a bit about what Aaron Rodgers is going to do, and the drama is is always maybe a little much uh, because we, we all tend to believe that he's just going to end up back with the Packers again, but you never know. He is getting older, you know, whatever. The latest news that has come out here is that the Green Bay Packers have made a significant long-term contract offer to Aaron Rodgers that would alter the quarterback market, a source has told ESPN along with multiple other outlets. It says, Terms of a potential new contract could always change, but a three- or four-year deal would help Green Bay's salary cap situation while giving Rodgers, who is 38 years old, contractual clarity well into his 40s. Green Bay is more than $27 million over the cap. How Explain this to me in a way that makes sense. right? Just at layman's terms, how can restructuring a deal and giving Aaron Rodgers more years in a way that would alter the quarterback market. How is that going to save you as far as the uh, salary cap is concerned? So I'm going to, I'm going to speculate a lot here. Okay. But I think, I think I'm more on than off with the speculation. Um, I think a, by restructuring, you can put a lot of money towards a signing bonus. I I still have never figured out the math on how the signing bonus always works. I know some of it has to go towards the salary cap, but not all of it. And and I don't I don't know the formula behind that. So they can when they do this, they can give him a huge chunk of money up front, and that that not hurt the cap. That actually helped them. And then also by backloading the contract with deeper money later and freeing up a lot of money this year. Um, they are under the impression the cap is going to go up significantly, which I actually think is going to happen based on the Amazon deal, all these other players getting involved in the NFL. Um, the cap is based on the amount of league revenue, and we just think the, re- the league revenue is going up year after year. Um, and with Amazon getting involved, I think it's going to go up a substantial number. I don't think it's going to be a small bit. Uh, so, They think those later years, they're just going to have more money to spend anyway, which most people would think, oh, that's going to be good for the league. That's going to help the the middle-tier players make more money. Uh, No, no, it's not. It's just going to mean the stars are going to get paid more. Um, uh, If you raise the cap by $10 million, the the price for quarterbacks is going to go up by $10 million. It certainly is. That's the list. That's how this shit works. Uh, All the other people can get upset all they want. That this is what these teams are going to put their money towards. Um, and, and I don't know how to change that. Uh, so that's how it helps them. I do not think it helps them with signing guys like Adam uh, or, or Jones or either of those guys. And the reason being, unless those guys want to play with Rodgers and they're willing to take team-friendly deals, okay? But if yeah. they want to get paid, Green Bay is not the place to go get it. Now, if Rodgers does this, I would need to see what this does to the to the financials as a whole because he has complained about not having enough talent around him and them not supporting him to a point where, where he could really compete for a championship, which I find laughable because he's always one of the highest percentage cap takers um, in the league. But uh, if he signs this, I still think he's going to be one of the highest percentage of capping, and, and it's going to make it harder for them to – to go out and get players to surround him with. Uh, yeah. So does he want, we will find out about Rodgers. Does he care about getting paid or does he actually want to try to, to give somebody a team friendly deal and, 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 and go get more players than he's already got, which I, I know it's tough having one of the top two or three best receivers in football, along with one of the top five to 10 running backs in football. I know poor little Rodgers doesn't have any help. You know, but, you know, maybe they can go get him some more if he takes a little friendlier deal. Or you can just go to a team with more receivers. He, uh, he's got one year left on his deal that is uh, that counts $46.1 million against the cap. Uh, and it, it will more than likely be lowered by an extension, et cetera, like you were just talking about. Um, I mean, it's. I, I'm curious what a, what a market-altering quarterback deal would be, right? Because Patrick Mahomes... Yep. Uh, got a four hundred fifty million dollar deal, but that the annual value of that was forty five million on average. I, but that's you know, that's on average. But that contract, same thing. The contracts are very backloaded. 
Yeah. I think all these teams with these with the, especially with the younger quarterback, you you want to make long term deals so you have them locked up, and then you then you want to make all the big money on the back end because you assume as these new players come into play and bid for these TV contracts, it's just going to get bigger and bigger. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think you're right. Uh, Josh Allen is the league's second highest paid quarterback right now. Uh, in terms of value, uh, two hundred fifty eight million dollars over the span of the contract, and the average annual value for him is forty three million. So, you know, Aaron Rodgers uh, could be could be looking at something along those lines. Um, which, yeah. by the way, uh, Atlanta's Matt Ryan is the league's only player with a cap hit that is larger than uh, Aaron Rodgers right now. His deal with the Falcons. That's why Rogers. That's why Ryan's not going to get traded. By the way, everyone keeps talking about. They're talking about maybe trading Ryan this that another and tanking this year and whatnot. Uh, his cap is over forty, right? It's oh, it's forty eight point seven million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody, nobody in the league is paying Matt Ryan forty eight million dollars this year, other than the Falcons, because they have to. And that's the, see that's the thing with Aaron Rodgers if you as think well. You can trade like, that son of a bitch for forty eight million dollars. You're an idiot, right? And it, it might be the same with Rodgers, right? And and there will be takers for Rodgers, etc. But oh no, uh, no. There, there's a, there's a million. All you know, there's probably twenty of the thirty two teams that would take Rodgers right now with his yeah. cap hit. Brian Gutekunst, who is the uh, the GM for the Packers, said last week Green Bay has not received any trade offers for Rodgers. He emphasized that not a single person has called to inquire about the quarterback's availability. Well, that hey, hey, that's not hey, that's a hundred percent a lie. It's a hundred percent a lie because the commanders have made it abundantly clear they reached out to all thirty-one teams about their quarterback situation, and those include the Chiefs. And they 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 had the boss pick up the phone and call Andy Reid and say, "Hey, what would the price be for my home?" <laughs> okay, so so that that's not true. I promise you, if the commanders called the Chiefs about Patrick, they somebody called the Packers about Rodgers. So that's a lie. That's an outright lie. Oh yeah, yeah. No, uh, I, uh, I don't believe them at all. Multiple league executives believe the Steelers uh, have at least inquired about Rodgers as yeah. well. No. So there's there's a ton of guys. 100%, 100%. You know, that's that's the way. And, and we I'm gonna, I'm gonna we thought the Titans. The 49ers have. Yeah, yeah I, I I guarantee you the Titans have. Like I promise you, these GMs and coaches of these other teams and the franchises, they they have to. It's the it's the fiduciary like responsibility to their own franchise to at least make the call to see what they can do. Yeah, yeah, I think like you're right. it would be it would be negligent if they did. They would be they should be if you're the Broncos GM. You should be fired if you didn't make the call to at least inquire. So, so to say nobody has called, I just don't believe that. I think he's a liar. That's it. It turns out Rodgers believed that last year too, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.